guys, this is Deepika here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have come to an end of the weekend trip here in Chikmangalore. Uh, so I would be checking out and heading back uh, to Bangalore. But before that, uh, we would be exploring a few other places here in Chikmangalore through the day. So I would keep you posted about the places that we would be visiting here today. Uh, stay tuned for the uh, you know uh, day's itinerary as to what exactly I would be doing, how much it possibly would cost and things like that. Uh, first, we would be heading out to have our breakfast and then head to Mulayanagari is what the plan is. So I would keep you uh, posted through the day's uh, you know plan. So stay tuned for further updates. at around 9 in the morning and had decided to reach the Malayanagari but unfortunately since it was a weekend there was immense traffic on the way so we had cancelled the plan and had got back and uh, planned to visit a different place at the same time. After we left the Mulanagari hill, we had headed towards the Manikyadara place. So this is the actual place I wanted to visit because I wanted to see the Neela Karanji flowers that had bloomed here in Chikmangalore. So we had headed towards the uh, Manikyadara lake uh, and had taken about 5 to 10 minutes to reach this particular place. The route towards the Manikyatara place was absolutely beautiful. There were many tourists who had stopped by to click pictures and make videos of this place. This particular place looked straight from heaven with the mist covered mountains and absolute greenery in all the places. Manikyadara place here. Uh, this is Manikyadara, and uh, unfortunately, the vehicle or my car is not climbing up the uh, rocky terrain, so the road is quite bad. So, I am planning to take a jeep up. I am just waiting for one of the jeep. I was told that it would cost about 150 rupees per person. So I'm just waiting for a jeep to pick me up from this place and take me up there. So we will be heading up now. So finally we were able to find a jeep to travel up the hill and uh, this particular jeep costed us about 1500 which gets divided between 10 people. Unfortunately there were not 10 people in the particular jeep that I had traveled so I had to pay a, an amount that is slightly more than 150 per person. So this particular jeep had uh, you know taken us uphill and the view on the way was absolutely mesmerizing it was lush green with uh, you know the neela kurinji flowers here and there so i am super excited to be reaching the actual place to explore The 
money that you would be paying for your jeep is for a to and fro trip so the amount of money that you would be paying either 150 or the amount that has been divided among the number of people in your jeep will be uh, you know taking you uphill and after you have explored you would be able to take back any jeep that comes back from that particular place you will have to click a picture of that particular jeep that you have come up show it to the member who is uh, coordinating in that particular place and they would arrange another jeep for you to come down when you are done with your exploration have uh, reached the Manikya Dara place here. Uh, this is Manikya Dara and that's the Manikya Dara lake. The place looks amazing. I just feel like I have driven up a hill and landed in heaven straight. Uh, it's just completely filled with purple flowers and the lake is just adding to its beauty. I will show you the entire view right now. I'm super excited. This is the only reason I actually came to Chikman Road. I can possibly visit Chikmangalore at any given point of time but since this flower is actually uh, you know quite specific to a time period I really wanted to watch uh, how exactly this is so let's go ahead and explore this place now actually walking up this small hill we've got my DSLR out for some really good pictures I would be walking up as much as I can I already see the view of the flower and it's amazing it just looks like a carpet of purple flowers so I will get to the top and show you a view from there so hopefully I don't fall Yes, I forgot about one thing. I was told that there are quite a few leeches in this place. So just in case you are coming here, please be a little too careful because these leeches, you just wouldn't know when exactly it uh, climbs up your legs and when exactly it starts drinking your blood. It would be painless, but still, you know, you would have leeches sucking up your blood. So you will have to be very careful and you do have uh, some uh, you know measures to actually let it go uh, I, I'm not too sure it's called bleach or something you'll have to apply that and it leaves you or you have to just show a bit of fire either a lighter or a matchstick and it lets you uh, you know it just releases its hold on you
so these flowers are actually called as neela kuranji my eyes are watering because of the breeze here so uh, this particular flower uh, actually blooms once in 12 years though there are various varieties of flowers which bloom once uh, every year once in 5 years there's one variety but this particular flower is said to actually uh, you know bloom once in 12 years because the locals here say that it was uh, you know actually uh, it actually had bloomed about 12 years before in this place and now it has again bloomed uh, this season so i do not want to wait for another 12 years but it wouldn't take 12 years i did hear a few of them say that uh, you know this particular flower again would uh, bloom somewhere in mandalpatti in pur uh, in the next 8 years or so so yes this is specifically found uh, in the western ghats uh, so mostly in the nilgiris area and the reason this actually was called as neela kuranji is because it was first found in the hills of nilgiris that is currently uti so uti was the first place where this particular flower was found so after this i actually heard that this bloomed in uti in munar and uh, in kub the last year or before that and this year it is here in um, this place uh, so this is chikmangalore for you and this is the main reason i actually came to chikmangalore and i'm really happy that i was able to make it so super excited to uh, you know to have come here this time so let's explore this place and get back to bangalore after this here in chakmangalore gets really crowded and unfortunately creates a lot of traffic jam and to make things worse uh, there were a bunch of uh, political rally that was actually happening uphill for some reason i'm not too sure so all of these uh, you know unfortunately led to extreme traffic jam and we were unfortunately stuck for quite some time and uh, land you know ended up reaching chakmangalore at over about 12:30 or so 12:30 1 o'clock in the afternoon is when i was able to get down from the hill This is the last petrol bung you can find before climbing uphill. After a really long time, unfortunately, since we did not find any restaurants, we dropped in at this particular place. I personally wouldn't recommend this place as it took literally about two and a half hours to serve us, and the food also was not that good. So, in case you have some time, I would rather recommend you to move towards Hassan for a better restaurant. So we have come to the end of this particular vlog. Hope you guys liked my vlog here. I am super thrilled and excited that I actually was able to finally make it to see this particular flower. I wanted to see this for quite some time, right from the time it bloomed in Munar. 
unfortunately uh, was not able to see but this time I made it a point to actually come to Chikmangalur to see these flowers and I'm super super satisfied with this particular trip so if you like my content do like share and subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on my Instagram ID Deepika's Travel Diaries so until next time from another travel destination I will sign off now so until next time stay tuned stay safe